What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another Dart Frog Adventure. Today I'm out at the Witch's Tree. I was going to come out here last night, but it's been raining like crazy. It was a pretty scary full moon out here last night, and this place is haunted. Uh, if you're not familiar with my Dart Frog Adventure channel, I have a main channel. This is my secondary vlog channel. But uh, usually I usually like to come out and do haunted, you know, adventures. Not so much like, you know, paranormal investigations or anything, but this is a strange spot. This has an urban legend to it. Over there at the witch's tree, you hear footsteps walking around the tree. They'll either come towards you or they'll follow you. There has been tragedy out in this area. Uh, there has been back in like the 1980s or something like that. There was a person found hung in one of these trees. Don't know if somebody did it to them or if they just did it to themselves. There's not a lot of information on that. Uh, this used to be a haunted bootleggers canyon back in the 1920s. So I used to run moonshine through this area too. And on top of that, back in the early 1800s, this was also a fur trapping area. They had a little forges set up all along the canyon in case they broke their equipment and they could fix it while they're somewhere up in the mountains. And after the fur trading stopped, most of those mountain men started becoming mountain men guides. And they started taking travelers through areas just like this. So today we're gonna go ahead and adventure around the witch's tree. Uh, like I said, I've been out here quite a bit. Um, we usually like to do a Halloween adventure uh, somewhere that's haunted. Uh, this year, I think maybe we're going to do Crybaby Bridge. Don't know. I'll have to see what Halloween brings. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start walking around here. And as of right now, must have been a tree moving. I saw a movement like right there in the camera. So as of right now, what we're going to do is just kind of walk around and check this place out. I've been down here a few times. I've heard disembodied voices right in this area where I'm standing. Um, I got, I'll show you here in a second. I got over here crossing the middle of the creek. My phone went off, not once, twice. And I'll explain that to you. We've heard strange stuff over at the witch's tree. Uh, we've heard footsteps following us. Uh, and then we've heard footsteps coming towards us. Uh, there's also like a 1930s, um, car over here it's kind of like an Al Capone car and stuff it's pretty cool uh, like I said once I get into the more into the video I'll start explaining a little bit more so let's go ahead and get this adventure on the road so one night Marnay and I I don't think Marnay has ever been on this channel with me yet uh, maybe she has I don't know but my cousin Marnay and I were down here and we got into this spot right here and we saw something flying from the camera we were walking this way but we saw something flying from the camera we couldn't tell what it was don't think it was a bug. It just, it disappeared in frame. But uh, right up ahead is the witch's tree. Why it's called the witch's tree? I don't know. Um, other than, you know, like I said, the urban legend down here. But there's some stairs over here. I'm gonna show you stairs in a second. And there's part of an old car over here too. I'll show you that as well. But uh, let's go ahead and check out this stuff over here. So yeah, we're gonna head over here to the stairs and whatnot. Uh, these stairs are trippy. I've asked around, I've talked to some of my friends and stuff, and they said that at one point, this whole area was owned by one family and they started selling it off. And uh, this may have been, like this side where I'm at right now, may have been like one of their like salvage yards type thing where they store all their cars. Uh, but I've heard a bunch of different stories. I don't know which is true. Uh, but yeah, they, my friend said that they used to come down here and play all the time when they were younger and uh you know just playing the river and whatnot and everything but uh let's check out these stairs these stairs are just here let me get down there a little bit so yeah it's part of an old foundation and whatnot When you find stairs like that, you don't want to climb them. Uh, it's like just bad juju. Uh, there's like myths, rumors, legends, whatever you want to call them. Uh, more or less urban legends. If you climb those things, if you find like if you're in the middle of nowhere and you find stairs and you go ahead and climb them, uh, some people say that it could take you to like a different realm, like a different uh, plane. Uh, some people just say it's just really bad luck. And some people have climbed them and have like not these ones but uh 
different ones that they found out and around. They said they've climbed them, and uh, you know, bad stuff started happening to them like shortly afterwards, day, a couple hours, you know, a couple weeks, whatever. Just a string of bad luck or you know whatever. It's weird. So like I said, don't ever climb stairs if you see them. They're just bad juju. So we're going ahead and head over to the witch's tree now. There's a lot of these little like stick forts. I'll show you those here in a second. People come along and they build these like little stick forts. I don't know if you can see that little structure right there, but I'll go ahead and get over there close to you guys. I also brought my K2. Um, so that way we can run around this area. Uh, last time I was out here with Yimmy, uh, Yimmy had a spirit box, his little chatter box with him. And uh, we got over there by that old car and everything. And we heard footsteps following us. But once we got over to the car and he turned his chatterbox on, it was there's like all kinds of stuff coming through there. Like uh, one was saying, you know, there's a demon down here. Uh, there was angry ghosts down here. Like I said, there's been like shadow figures seen down here. Disembodied voices down here. Um, I mean, there are a lot of deer that come down here too. So, I mean, deer have been known to make strange noises that can sound like disembodied voices. But... Um, like I said, this is just a strange area. It always messes with my cameras. It always, you know, messes with my equipment. That's why I always bring an extra battery bank with me. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my K2. So I got my K2, plus also brought my digital recorder. I'm gonna break out the digital recorder around the car just, just to see if we get anything strange on the digital recorder. So I'm gonna put that in my pocket for now. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the K2. K2's on. All right, let's go check this out. We are right here by this little weird structure. And these little weird structures usually carry strange vibration. And my K2 is going off like crazy right at the moment. Yeah. So it's pretty active down here today. Yeah, it's it's going wild. And this is not my phone setting it off. Watch, I'm like way away from my phone now. See, it's still going off like crazy. So there is some kind of fluctuation going on here. I bet you could probably, you know, ask questions and uh, get responses on the K2 from stuff. Cause is it like, <laughs> this is funny. Some people said this is like a stud finder. This is not a stud finder. This is a K2 meter. This picks up electronical interference. So if this is a stud finder, the tree would be setting it off. Cause I have it right on the tree right now. And like I said, these trees out here carry vibration. Like I said, if it was a stud finder, it'd still be going off. It wouldn't, it'd stay solid. It'd just be like, you know, it'd be solid right on the yellow. But uh, like I said, this place, has activity to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off for a second. And I'm gonna gather up my tripod here. I'm, I'm using my tripod, so I'm also trying to carry my tripod and you know, all this other fun stuff and all my camera equipment with me. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and probably break out my little um, digital recorder over here by the witch's tree. And I'm going to set it down and leave it for a second by itself. So let's go ahead and turn this little bad boy on. And let's see what we get. Now if, the trick is if I remember how to work this damn thing. Okay. okay, so this thing has full battery. I'm going to set it over here by the witch tree. So let's go over to the witch's tree real fast and... Uh, we're just gonna set it down and see what happens. So here it is. The mic's like right there. And uh, so this big tree right here is the witch's tree. So I'm gonna set it down on this tree over here and I'm gonna take off and we're gonna go over and check out the car. And then we'll come back and review the um, sound on the K2, or not the K2, but the digital recorder. So I'm gonna put it right there. All right, so let's go ahead and take off.
we're gonna go over to the car real quick i just left my digital recorder over there so it wouldn't pick up my voice or anything like that we'll come back and review it here in a second but we're gonna head over to the car right now and uh see what's going on over there i also gonna take the k2 over there so k2 is not doing nothing right now but here's the car okay Usually this car is pretty damn active too. Yeah, there it is. So we're gonna set up the digital recorder over here too. This car is going nuts today. Yeah, this is going nuts. It's pretty active. So one of the things about this area too is last time we were down here and Yimmy had his chatterbox with him, um, there, there was something that came through and said there's a demon attached to this car. I don't know. We asked, we're like, is, you know, what's going on with this car and everything. And uh, when I was standing right here where I'm at, you can see the river right here behind me. When I was standing right here, um, that river was up a little bit further. Let me show you. So the river is like right up in there, as you can see. That's probably like three or four steps from the car. There you go. It was like three or four steps from the car. And uh, something went running right behind me. And like I said, the water was up there. There was no, it wasn't an animal or nothing. I looked at the bank, there was no tracks, but you could hear it run right behind me. Caught it on camera too. So let's go ahead and grab the digital recorder, see if we hear anything on that. We'll come back to the car here and we'll set up the digital recorder over here by the car and we'll see what happens. So let's go get the digital recorder. So there's the witch's tree. It's a huge cottonwood tree. Like I said before, I don't know why it's called the witch's tree. You know, people come down here and have like a day fire, which I wouldn't do because the parking lot's right over there, the road's right over there. So, oh geez, tripping over stuff. Let's see what our digital recorder picked up, if it picked up anything. There it is right there. Okay. So let's see. Saved. Okay, so this thing has full battery. I'm going to set it over here by the witch's tree. So let's go over to the witch's tree real fast, and uh, we're just going to set it down and see what happens. So, here it is. Mike's like right there. And, uh, so this big tree right here is the witch's tree. So I'm going to set it down on this tree over here. And I'm going to take off. And we're going to go over and check out the car. And then we'll come back and review the, um, the sound on the K2. Or not the K2, but the digital recorder. So I'm going to put it right there. Alright, so, let's go ahead. Okay, right now we're walking away from the witch's tree and reviewing the footage of the digital. Let's see if there's anything on the digital. Probably not going to catch anything, but you never know. Right now I was just catching the sound of the river. Something was on there. Heard a pop. So that was the end of the digital recording. Um, let's go ahead and set it over here by the car. See if there's anything that happens over by the car. I'll just go ahead and hold on to it this time. And we'll just stand here for a little bit and see what happens. So let's go ahead and start recording. It's starting to record now. Okay, so we're over here by the car. The car's right here. Like, just, like I was saying, uh, like I was saying last time, uh, when Yumi and I come down here, that spirit box it was saying, you know, like it was saying stuff like touch the car and whatnot. I ain't touching this car. This this was somebody's car at one point. Uh, I, I, you know, no thanks. 
you know, if you're a car person, you know, you don't touch somebody else's car. But let's go ahead and give the uh, recorder a second to record. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, so yeah, we didn't pick up nothing on the digital recorder either, but yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, when stuff communicates, it communicates in different ways. It communicates with like bangs or throw stuff or, you know, it shows up on the K2, uh, which is, you know, I don't always take the K2 for, you know, being solid because it picks up electrical interference, which is, you know, even the earth puts out, you know, fluctuations of stuff. But from time to time, like when we're around that car and it's going off like crazy, it's kind of hard to deny that you know there might be some kind of electrical interference going on there and with spears there's supposed to be you know there's supposed to be electrical type of impulses and stuff uh, like uh they're they're basically energy so uh so it, these can have been known to pick up that kind of stuff so but uh yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and wrap down the video here at the witch's street today um if you're new to my channel uh hit subscribe if you like this video hit like and I really wanted to give you guys a shout out and say thank you for watching my videos. You guys are awesome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and head over to another spot. Probably do another video today. And uh, I'm not sure which one's going to come out first. On, uh, on our bitch. I'm not sure which one's going to come out first, this video or the next video. But uh, like I said, um, we are probably going to do a Halloween video this year again. Uh, last time we come down to... Haunted Bandits Coven did a, a Halloween video, and uh, it, I'll tell you more about Bandits Coven in another video. But uh, yeah, so this year I think we are probably going to do probably the Crybaby Bridge or something. Uh, we haven't fully decided yet, you and I. Uh, we're just kind of figuring out which spot we want to go to. But there's a couple new spots that we've been to that we think are going to be pretty cool for videos. Uh, they're pretty active so far. And we've gotten some really strange stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping down this video. Uh, like I said before, if you're new to my channel, hit subscribe. I do have two different channels. This is my vlog channel and the main channel at Dark Park Adventures. This is where I usually post videos like this. So if you guys are interested in that one, I will drop a uh, link to that channel down in this video. Uh, like I said, if you're new to my channel, hit subscribe. If you like this video, hit like. Until the next adventure.